And now, it's time for another episode of the longest-running local rock showcase on the Jersey Shore. This is Jersey Rock with your host, Tom Hanley. It's Rad Radio. This is Jersey Rock. I'm Tom Hanley, your host for New Jersey's longest-running local rock show on 95.9 The Rat, powered by Yingling. They're fiercely focused at brewing the best beer at the bar. And joining us once more over the phone is Mark Weiss, rock photographer and author of The Decade That Rocked. There's an exhibit over at the Monmouth Museum in Brookdale Community College tomorrow from 2 to 5 p.m. Mark will be there to sign copies of his book. Mark, thank you for calling in all week. Hey, thanks, everyone at The Rat. Really appreciate it, Tom. Good to be back. Hell yeah, my pleasure. I wish we had more time. There's so many stories uh, that I could I could ask you, and there's so many cool things. And I assume that there's a lot of really cool stories in the book, The Decade That Rocked. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the book is divided up into into 10 chapters because I have hundreds of thousands of photographs and, and slides. I had to scan them. So I had to section it off into years. It's a narrative from, my, you know, from me growing up as a kid, getting my first camera, mowing a lawn, then getting arrested, then... Then it dives right into 1980, and then each year after that. It starts out in 1980 when I shot my first heavy metal studio photo shoot with a Jersey band that were huge at the time. All the clubs played the Fountain Casino. They packed in 3,000 kids at a time. It was when the drinking age was like 18, so with the you know you could still be in high school, pretty much a senior in high school, and you get into the clubs and check them out. It was this band called white tiger they were like rival against twisted sister so it was twisted sister and white tiger that like played all over the place white tiger played led zeppelin acdc anything you know hard rock and metal they wore spandex pants and they were just the coolest thing and i was just starting out just started getting my pictures in circus magazine and i just wanted to get my feelers out and like to shoot a band where i could meet them and go backstage and really sink my teeth into what I wanted to do. And, and I approached Danny Miro, who's the guitar player, and I asked him if, uh, you know, I can go on stage and take pictures. And he's like, yeah, you can go on stage, but you got to let it, you know, show us the pictures and we'll give you photo credit. And, you know, if we want to use them in the aquarium, you know, we, you know, we want to be able to use them. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And, and the band was awesome. There was always hot girls there. So it's like, you know, you knew when you went to a White Tiger show that you'd end up with with a hot girl. And then we just became friends. And then when I started interviewing people for my book, I reached out to Neil Thomas, the singer, and Danny Miro, and we just reconnected. And then when I had the mu- museum, I called Danny up, and it was like two days before the event. I said, Danny, I got this great idea. Can you, if you can pull Neil together and do a couple of acoustic songs and, and, and do... Uh, do maybe a Zeppelin song or something like that, or Van Halen. And he said, actually, Mark, me and Neil and uh, Joey DeMeo from Surefire Recordings in Long Branch, who had a recording studio, we got a band together now and called The Killing Floor Project. They got a new song they just released it on YouTube. So I did a little speech up there, and then Dan talked a little bit about you know me as a young kid and Neil, and I had a great time. It's so cool that they are back uh, in a new incarnation. We're going to rock that track right now. Mark Weiss, author of The Decade That Rocked. See the exhibit over at Brookdale Community College at the Monmouth Museum. You can catch Mark there tomorrow from 2 to 5 p.m. signing copies of the book. And you can also purchase the book at thedecadethatrocked.com. Mark, thank you so much for calling in. Thanks for having me. And I'm looking forward to seeing everyone on Friday. Hell yeah, we'll see you there. Right now, let's rock that track. Here's the Killing Floor Project with the fire, the liar, the snake. On Jersey Rock, on 95.9 The Rat.
Explore Project on Jersey Rock on 95.9 The Rat. Made up of former members of White Tiger. They appear in Mark Weiss's book, The Decade That Rocked. Order the book now at thedecadethatrocked.com and check out the exhibit at the Monmouth Museum at Brookdale Community College. Mark will be there tomorrow from 2 to 5 p.m. to sign copies of the book. Learn more on the Jersey Rock page at WRAT.com. We give you the Jersey Rock video of the week with Reality Suite and a selection from Vendetta Rose's Jersey Rock Home Showcase performance. That series continued earlier tonight at Facebook.com slash 95.9 The Rat with a solo performance from Kate Ortiz. If you missed it, check it out now on The Rat's Facebook fan page. And if you're in a New Jersey band and would like to be featured on Jersey Rock, email me at jerseyrock at WRAT.com. Jersey Rock is back Tuesday night at 11.30. I'm Tom Hanley. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong. We are Jersey Rock on 95.9 The Rat.